Hercules Gomez, the U.S. men's national team, is not quite in the World Cup, but they took a big step towards Qatar with a 5-1 win over Panama Sunday in Orlando. Just about the perfect performance you could have in a must-win game, no? Yeah, it was uh, pretty damn near perfect. Uh, the only, uh, I guess, imperfection would be the goal that Anibal Godoy gets a score off of a set piece, uh, but everything else was controlled, was determined, uh, and was very, very good from the U.S. Men's National Team, especially in the final third. They, it really could have been a lot more. Yeah, Herc, the story of this team throughout qualifying has been slow starts, and that kind of happened today, those first maybe 10 minutes. But, boy, after that, it was all U.S. It was 3 nothing at the half-hour mark. They really turned it up a notch. Yeah, what uh, Panama did not want to happen happened to – I mean, pretty much very early on, giving up that early goal off of a hey, silly mistake from Godoy again. Um, he would do it twice. Uh, penalty kick. Christian Pulisic for the Camp de Zombrand stepped up and buried it. It was a commanding performance from him, commanding performance from Greg Verhalter as well, really pushed all the right buttons, especially after, I guess, all the talk about if the U.S. Men's National was going to play the A team, was going to play the B team, heading into Azteca, what would that do to their legs? Would it fatigue them mentally, physically, all that? Well, that went out the window, and it went out the window very early on. Uh, her Pulisic specifically yes there's the two penalty goals but that third goal the touch of magic the Meg what a moment for him to have a hat trick yeah what a moment it's eerily similar the last time on the eve of the, the final game in U.S. men's national team world cup qualifying last cycle Christian Pulisic had a banner performance himself and then they leave Orlando they leave Florida and go into Trinidad and Tobago and we all know what happened well this time he's making sure that did not happen it was a very commanding performance again, from the U.S. men's national team in, uh, in Florida. It, it, and, well, it's Christian Pulisic doing everything he can in his power to make sure what happened last cycle does not happen again. We have said throughout this qualifying process on Football Americas, the U.S. has not been convincing. Do you think this is the best we've seen them in this qualification campaign? By far. Think about their most convincing win. Um, they still left a lot on that table. Costa Rica mm. at home. Costa Rica towards the end on set pieces. Watson, Brian Reese uh, almost came back. You look at other performances, uh, Mexico, the first half in that Cincinnati game, it was very even. It was very give and go. It wasn't until the second half that they really blew away uh, the Mexican national team for another Dos Acero in Cincinnati. But this game from start to finish was very convincing. At no point did they feel uncomfortable. Greg Berhalter, I think, pushed all the right buttons. Even the subs, Gio Reyna comes on, he's commanding the midfield and he's doing it centrally. He's being a playmaker and he's making people pay. Uh, Jesus Ferreira is showing why he's playing in that nine position, what he wants or what Greg Berhalter wants out of him. Very just clinical in the way he combines uh, in his movements. Paul Ariola getting the start gets a goal, a very good goal off a header. Uh, it just seemed like everything worked out for them. Um, and, and you got to take out some guys, uh, save some legs, and now you're heading into Costa Rica with very much uh, the driver's seat uh, for the U.S. men's national team. With the result, Panama are eliminated. It also means the U.S. can't fall lower than fourth, Herc. So they're guaranteed at least that intercontinental playoff. And unless they lose to Costa Rica by six goals or more, they're going to be in the top three and get that automatic qualification to the World Cup. Just how much confidence do you have in this team as they head to Costa Rica after this performance against Panama? Yeah, I think fairly confident. You should be fairly confident. Um, not that Costa Rica can't put four on you or more. We saw that with a very healthy U.S. men's national team last go around what happened to them in Costa Rica. Uh, but this team with the confidence right now and knowing how physically depleted Costa Rica will be because they played their strongest sides in both of those games. Uh, first game against Canada, even though they got an early red and, and took control and scored, it was still very much a very difficult game for them. They go into El Salvador, Cuscatlan and had, a, had themselves quite a game towards the end of that game. Guys like Joel Campbell looked very beat up. Uh, guys like Kendall Watson, uh, even Kaylor Navas. So now with everything to play for for Costa Rica, who I think will try to be smart about this because they themselves can go no lower than fourth, mm -hmm. and they know that they'll be playing most likely Oceania, which will be New Zealand. So I think they'll be con cognizant of that. Um, I feel very confident the U.S. men's national team securing at least that third spot. Herc, we'll talk a lot more about this on Monday's edition of Football Americas, the U.S. men's national team, not in Qatar just yet, but very, very close. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.